All right, all right, all right. My, 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 Gemini. It is I. It is me, right? It is she, right? It is V, right? It is Scorpion, Red, Several, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. We are here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies for like, sharing, and subscribing and clicking this video. If there is anyone that would like to reach out to me for a personal or private reading, feel free to click the description box of this video it'll give you the various ways to connect with me um, the best way to uh, book with me is to send me a message on Instagram messenger if you do not have Instagram messenger just go ahead and shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com if any of these videos resonate and you want to send some love and light over to the page and show some support you can go ahead and check out the various links that you can uh, you know support the page so again thank you guys uh for all of the love light and the support that you guys give over here to scorpion red several all right so um you guys know as we always do i didn't even like my candle y'all you know as we always do we want to give you know father god the creator the universe however it is that you connect with him whatever it is that you call or however it is that he resonates with you we're going to give you know father god um thanks and just you know generosity and just you know give him acknowledgement for um bringing us here today and you know giving us this guidance and enlightenment so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of gemini thank you so much for covering us with your love thank you so much for looking down from up above and just you know guiding us protecting us and just covering us and just you know doing what you do in our life father god we're just so graceful we're so just like confident right now Father God, we are just taking every single footstep that we can possibly take right now for our greatness and, you know, just trying to make sure that we just, you know, are reaching our prominence right now, Father God. We just want to make sure in every aspect of our life that we're feeling comfortable, that we're feeling uh, determined and that we're just able to prosper and just pay it forward in every single lesson and blessing that we receive and learn Father God so we thank you so much for you know allowing us to bear witness to how you know amazing you are and how real you are in our life Father God and we just thank you as we take our steps forward into you know our greatness so give us guidance for the sign of gemini we thank you so much for all of the gifts and all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future father god please give us guidance today for the sign of gemini for april 2021 we're here to have fun thank you again amen and amen and amen all right so listen i got a bevy of uh cards here gemini over on this side we have the general energy you know finance and career energy we're going to get one card for each one of these decks here and then over here i got a little bevy of treats for the love portion of the reading so we're going to get into this so let's see what we got going on so give me guidance for my gemini's Give me guidance for Gemini for April 2021. Thank you so much. Give me one card for Gemini. Thank you so much. Okay, you got the healer. You got the healer, the revealer, the feeler. All right, you got the healer. And, you know, I always tell people when you see snakes and it has anything to do with tarot and things like that, especially it depends on the reader and how it resonates with them. Snakes to me represent um, wisdom. It represents constant transformation, constant shedding of skins, constant reinvention of yourself, constant like, you know, in a work on thyself and just finding new dimensions of yourself being creative being just boisterous you know what i'm saying i'm sorry if i didn't say that right but just like so proud and unwilling to hide yourself and you know being unafraid to just be every single aspect of the differentness of you you know a lot of people are so in the box type of people you're not you know what i'm saying you're one of them type of people that if i don't like something about 
a situation, if I don't like something about myself, I'm willing to look at myself, I'm willing to analyze that, and I'm willing to make changes to heal whatever that is that's going on in my life. I'm, I'm willing to transform. I'm willing to transform. There's certain people that are so scared of transformation and they'll stay stuck and stagnant in something forever. They'll go through one, two, three, four phases before they actually, you know, get the courage to transform. So you guys could be at the third stage of something and you could be completely healed and truly see it for what it's supposed to be in your life. And you could be in that stage where you're healing and you're transforming. So let's see. I heard the messenger of peace. You got Steve Jobs. This is the success deck. So you said outsized vision, handheld products. Outsized vision, hell help products. If you think about what Steve Jobs did, remember um, people used to walk around back in the 80s with boom box. Then it went from a boom box to a cassette tape player. Then it went from a CD player. But if you really think about it, like Steve Jobs changed the game when he came out with them iPods. Something where you don't even have to carry no whole bunch of CDs and stuff like that. And you're stuck with listening to just one song all day, all day, one album, all day, all day. You can literally have 50,000 albums in one little device that is this small that can fit in the miniature pocket in your damn jeans. He changed the game. He changed the game. So it says outsized vision. Okay, handheld products. Users can't be choosers. Okay, have a reputation for having a reputation. <laughs> I love it. Uh, users cannot be choosers. And what does Steve Jobs mean by that? Because at the end of the day, his competitors go ball and limb to compete with Apple. Do you understand that look go through so much to compete with Apple products and Apple products they sit back and they let competitors come up with all this new technology and stuff and they upgrade they shit whenever the hell they want to it's not gonna stop one dollar not one iota a user I don't know too many people that really are avid Apple product users that are going to switch to no Android. They're just not going to do it. And Apple will upgrade their system to all of the little new fancy tricks they did it when they damn well pleased. Okay? <laughs> this is an asshole card. <laughs> it just tickles me. But it's real game because when you have a reputation for having a reputation, Apple has the reputation for being the best, for being the absolute best with the best quality. Because at the end of the day, you hate for someone to send you a text with the video. If you're Apple, if you have an Apple processor with um, an Android video or something, the quality, it just don't transfer right. It's just you can tell. You can tell. Don't act like y'all don't be acting some type of way when you see the green text box. Okay. I don't mean to go that far. <laughs> like, my friends are so petty. So, like, really, we were on Facebook or whatever. And they just be going back and forth about how better Apple users, um, iPhone users are versus Android users. And then one of my friends said, facts, I'm not going to argue with you. Android users, none of y'all uh, credit scores is, uh, is over 600. Ciao. I died looking at those comments. I'm like, y'all are petty. I'm talking about petty rep skins. Y'all super petty. Dumb petty. Like, I'm serious. Like, app, like app. <laughs> Apple users got balls. <laughs> and they talk the most shit. Like, I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's so funny. Mmm. 
okay and then you got the two a disc i like this so this is balance this is like again with this coming up with this having a reputation for having a reputation i feel like you know people be on board with you with whatever it is that you're doing because it seems like you still they able to grasp opportunities. It's like you stay on your feet. You're like a you're like a very prissy kitty cat. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. Like I don't I'm about to like literally name this reading prissy kitty cat. Like that is what Gemini is. Like the prissy kitty cat. Like you will never catch me not on my feet, not being on balance. Like regardless, I change and I do what I want. I will upgrade my system when I want to. Listen, beggars cannot be choosers. You know who you are. You know what your position is. You know how to market yourself to get what you want. And as long as you give out a, pro a quality product, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> it ain't nothing stopping your coin I feel like your coin is in steady rotation like I don't know if like right now you're in the best place of your life financially like things just seem to be like one hand is washing the other one aspect of your life is bleeding over to the other and feeding that and then it's that resource is tapping back into the other one it's just like you know it's just everything is just moving in a very um, beautiful pace. You could be doing something where you could be passing a skill set down to, because to me with the two of pentacles like this, I take this as learning because this looks like a mother or someone teaching a child. Um, they're saying home remedy medicines because it could literally be the healer. Like you could be teaching your child about like making um like little bracelets and stuff like that. Like different jewels and rubies and crystals and stuff. Making bracelets like dance um all type of things. Different things where you're putting a skill set into your child. How to be a healer. How to be an entrepreneur. How to like reach for your dreams how to balance your life being able to live throughout your dreams it's like you know this is someone it's like teaching the child how to be a risk taker how to take balance risk you know balance risk i like that okay let's see what we got here I feel like there's, yeah, you're definitely passing your skill set on to somebody. Or it's like someone, it's like y'all teaching each other or something. It's like someone's like practice makes perfect. You may be learning something with someone. Um, it's not even like a school. It's like uh, two people that have a certain interest with each other. And it's like balanced communication, like a reciprocal type of thing here. What is this? You got the trust card here. Like I said, it's like, it's not even so much of a balancing act. It's like you trust the rope. You trust your friend. You trust you know what you're doing. Y'all been practicing. And you're just safe in the fact that knowing that everything is balanced and everything is going to be at God's will and everything is going to be where it's supposed to be and it's going to do what it's supposed to do and it's like as long as i'm giving into it and i'm feeding like my dreams my goals i trust that everything is going to be balanced and everything's going to be good and i definitely see it, the, the paying forward of i want to say like surrounding yourself around people that are into what you're into that want to receive the education that it, or your it's like either you're willing to receive the education from someone who wants to teach you something or you're willing to pay it forward and give the education to someone that needs your assistance and needs your guidance right now but whatever is going on it's just like trust the universe has your back and they know what you're doing and they're helping you do it do you understand what i'm saying so it says trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path again it's like taking a balanced risk 
have someone's teaching you how to take a balance wrist to go from one side to another and shit even dangle in the middle and put on a fucking show like make money doing this shit it's like you can make money doing this here hanging in the middle you don't have to choose one side or the other it's like this is a skill this is a gift this is an art this is something that you can create this is something that could be ever lucrative to yourself as long as you give to it it'll always give to you The ability to take care of yourself or others. <clears throat> and again, it's like when you have your own product, you can charge what you want. You can make a limited amount because it's something about not making this shit so accessible to someone. It's like putting at it at a certain price point. Like if you want certain people to come and see your show, your show ain't no $20 show. Yeah, it's $75 to come see this show, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And the level of risk and the, and, and the level of knowledge that I'm given and the, and the skill set that I'm being shown to people who come and see me, it's worth that price point. And the people that get what I'm doing, the same thing like Apple, the people that get what Apple is doing, they have no problem with paying that price point. And <laughs> you understand, like they laugh at the people who can't afford it because they're missing the show. They're missing the jewels that, you know what I'm saying? So it's something like, remember who you are, remember the quality of what you're serving. And listen, like this says, outsized vision handheld products i don't know what you're doing if you need to minimize it to make it handheld or make it smaller in some way outsized vision handheld products users can't be choosers you know you control the market you can't let people dictate how you create your shit People going to follow you, they're going to follow you. Have a reputation for having a reputation. Have a reputation for having a reputation. The show is expensive, but trust me, that's just like Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, when you go see his goddamn plays, the motherfuckers is expensive, but it's an experience. And there's people that go every year and pay that money every year, no matter how much he charge. Am I lying? All right. So let's see. Oh God, so what we got here? We got, ooh. Okay. All right, they told me to put that back. I said put that back. I'm putting it back. Put that back. Gemini said, ain't no weakness in me. You can go ahead and put that back. Because I, mm, mm That shit ain't hit the table. No, nope. Put that back. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> Gemini said, uh-uh, Reds. You was not about to do me. You can go ahead and, uh-uh. Put that right back. Give me one for Gemini, please. And overall, general health and career. Finance. Give me one card. Okay. We got a widow. We got a widow. So, you know, I'm definitely getting like a recovery. I'm getting a recovery. And this is very much so with this Queen of Spades. Yes. Very much so Gemini energy. The Queen of Spades is very, very intelligent. Um, it's like she she's like the smartest, most cunning person that you know. She knows what you're thinking before you're thinking. You damn might think that she's psychic it's like I, I, it's somehow it's like she knows how to give people advice to help them that they didn't even know that they needed to help them you know what I'm saying like this is someone that can be a lawyer this is someone that can be like a principal um like an instructor like uh, an instructor of like pupils or something like that but not in a 
educational way, but like in a dis disciplinary, disciplining, discipline, disciplinary way. I'm sorry, y'all. But it's like making sure that people follow structures, make sure that people follow rules. Um, if someone has advice about a contract, um, sizing people up, you can size people up easily. Just all of that. You're very cut and dry. You can kind of, like you're emotional when you really love someone, but you're more um, in your mind about love situations than you're in your heart so sometimes people can say that you can be a little bit cold but it's like you have to get to my mind to get to my heart to get to know me and to get to understand how i move you know that i move strategic so with this widow card here um and then you got the number 44 here as well i definitely feel like you guys are like they're saying like sitting back on your riches. It's like you're sitting back on your riches a little bit. It's like you may let a little bit of your financial security dangle a little bit for people to see. But other than that, I feel like you're saving your money. You definitely seem to be learning or teaching a new career uh, uh, skill set. Or like I said, passing down a dynasty, passing down information. Uh making it bring back blessings to you um this widow card i feel like you're smarter than you know um you may at this point it, it, it's i feel like you're over whatever um separation you had to go through if it was a death in um It's like, I'm sorry, y'all, because I'm trying to ex figure out how to explain this. So, like, this is someone that, like, literally had a true death in regards to um, their standpoint in life and what they thought their career, their longevity, their imprint, their footsteps would look like. It's something that could have changed and you could have like abandoned something or something could have just died out to you and mentally you don't want to do it no more. And it's just like I'm fine with that. I'm actually recouping and basking in my decisions to disassociate or let something just in within me so I can figure out who I am outside of who I used to be when I was in that position. So like you could have even been um, like a judge, right? <clears throat> could have been a lawyer or something like that. And it's like, I love doing that job, but at the same time, um, I prefer teaching or giving advice in regard or like doing some type of consulting like old online or something like giving people advice or working for myself versus being in an actual court all day so it's like I might have divorced like the way that I used to get money that me being a professional in that sense could have definitely died out like you could definitely be and again like I said making it outside vision handheld products so it's like what you do in the courtroom you're putting it in an app it's like a product you have your own app where it's like you and it's like especially if you already are like cold-hearted cutthroat you get down to the dirt because like the queen of swords the queen of swords the queen of spades is like someone that is investigated they'll go deep you know what i'm saying deep research and all of that stuff so it's like you could have stepped away from your regular role in a professional sense to make yourself more accessible through an app or through something that they can have people can get to you on your on their phone so that they can know the criminal justice system so they can defend their own self in court or do you see what i'm saying something like that so and again like with this healer so it's like you're helping 
it's like you're passing something on. It's like you're taking your gift and you're passing. You're teaching people that's in that middle ground. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to teach you how to get over here or over here or just how to make money right here. Like, however. Like, I don't know, y'all. I know. But I don't know how it represents for you in your life. But I definitely see it's like Queen Stable. I don't know why I'm getting like Queen Stable. It's like your queen stability like your queen of knowledge your queen of like information and investigation and like it's again being cunning <laughs> knowing the system like knowing how to work the system knowing how to not be a victim knowing how to protect yourself mentally and physically if you have to like it's like no holds bar no bullshit in the pocket it's you know what i'm saying like people are gonna have to pay you know what i'm saying but it's like i'm not allowing other an employer to pimp me and take my money and give me what they want to give me like no i didn't uh, okay, I'm sorry. Let me get out of this and go to love. Because I know y'all like, okay, bitch, get to love. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me... You got the worth waiting for card. What else we got? One more in love for Gemini. And then we got the wedding card. Okay. We be loaded, baby. I like that. So we got the worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. And then this is situation involves marriage. So you got the worth waiting for in the wedding card. So you know clearly what that says. So let's just keep going. I definitely feel like. They said something about like praying up above to like fix the situation and a worker situation out because like the wedding car kind of did come flipped upside down. So I didn't really want to take it like that. So if this is someone that's like in a relationship, it's just like holding on to something that they know is worth holding on to. You know what I'm saying? And if there's something that is was mishandled in a relationship, it's like this person is worth waiting for, you know what I'm saying, for me to allow just, you know, the universe and God to just work this out. Like, I trust my husband, and he trusts his wife, and we're going to rest in, within within each other. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if this is um, a marriage situation, I definitely feel like you guys should, um, you got married for a reason. And unless it's something that you really, really feel that is unworkable, then you got to do what you got to do. But other than that, like, divine timing is at work in your life. Allow things to mend itself, if that makes anything. And the worth waiting for, for my singles, you already know what that means. <laughs> Give me two for my Gemini and love. Thank you so much. Okay. You got the world, and then you got <laughs> no four of chalices. You like God, okay? Like everybody else is getting their blessings. You talk about marriage and shit, like okay. Well, when are we gonna move on to this new situation? When is just things gonna just like permanently step to me? Because like I just feel like the blessings just just missing me. I've just been waiting. I'm tired. I'm bored. You know, like I, it, like I want to. I did hear downright envious of other people's situations, especially for the ones that's been waiting for, like this romance. It's like I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing everybody else just, you know, jump into these damn relationships and people see all seem all happy and things like that. And it's just like every offer that has just been given to me. I'm, I'm not interested in it like that. It's like I don't even want to answer the phone. I don't even want to look up at the phone when it's ringing because I know it's not nobody that I really want to talk to. Like I really, really, really just want something that's going to come into my life that is really just going to 
like turn my life around it's going live and me up like you know you can hear the birds chirping you can feel the sun kissing your skin you can feel the butterflies in your stomach you know what i'm saying you can feel the jitters you know all of that it's just like i want to experience all of that i feel like someone is just like at this point they're waiting for the process and the initiation of this new of this newness in their life um i definitely feel this is it, it's, it's something where um this is beyond wishing on the stars and praying for something it's like you're you're needing to see movement and it's like if, if it doesn't happen on its own it's like you're going to start doing it yourself like if i gotta pack up and move and just try my luck at someplace else i'm getting bored with this place i don't i get no fulfillment i get no richness i get no advances up and, and, and i'm not going to allow myself to advance down i just like i feel like shit is missing me and it, 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 i use it's like I, I it's like i kind of feel like i'm ready to take myself someplace else um because i'm looking for commitment and it's like it's worth waiting for it's like it's worth waiting for it's worth it it's worth me moving it's worth me doing whatever i gotta do because this time it's permanent because the world means permanence it means changes it means destiny to me it means like something is destined to happen in your life. So whatever movement, whatever moving you have to do, whatever it is that you need to discipline yourself. You know? Because to me, if I'm not happy and I'm bored like that and I just feel like everything I want, I'm just not getting it here. What do I need to do to discipline myself to not keep sitting there looking at the life that I want pass me by? Get up and move. It's not there. It's definitely somewhere else. So, hmm. Let's see what we got. The healthy choices in the healing heart. I'm just seeing that. Me too. For Gemini. Yeah, I definitely feel like you guys could have just been getting over something. Like, especially when I'm looking at all of this over here. The Heal of the Trust. The Two of Pentacles. The Widow. Steve Jobs. It's like, you're definitely getting over something. And you're just looking for, like, a new life. Some upliftment. Like, really, I feel like you guys have been looking for a change of season. And thank God the spring is coming. Like, things are, like, starting to awake. Like, you've been... It's like you're tired of whatever your current state of existence is. You're over whatever it is. You got the abundance. Okay, you better look. You better let the money come in. You better. I told. Did not tell. I said somebody had some money. It says keep a positive mindset. It manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So again, it's like I. You cannot sit around like this, especially if you're really trying to attract that love and all of that stuff like that. You're really trying to like connect with that and get something fulfilling. You have to get your ass up from this state in this environment that you're absolutely bored and stop sitting there. It's not going to come to you. Maybe it's time for you to move. Maybe it's time for you to move with the world card. Keep a positive mindset. I love that. And then, girl, you got red. wedding rings. What else fell down here? And you got the golden mirror, too. The golden mirror says self-absorbed narcissist, one side of relationship, love bomb. So let's let's address this. So again. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, because with this widow card right here, I feel like that's what that's hitting on. Something about, uh, I feel like a neglect in your mind of your 
want and need for a relationship. It's something about you just getting over whatever at a toxic relationship, um, unsuccessful marriage, whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if someone passed away and you just were grieving from that and it just took you a long time. It's like you got to want to be happy and want a loving relationship. You have to want to get over that pain and that hurt and not let it subside. Uh, I, mean, I mean, and let it subside in your mind where it's not something that's festering that you're feeding, that is rejecting people and... Um, because I feel like this is more about you. It's it's something it's something about you. It's like you gotta want to do it. You gotta want to want love. You gotta want to be free and allow um opportunities to come to you. Because especially if you're it's something about that mirror. It's something about that mirror. And it's like maybe you not see it, but other people see it. And it affects their position with you. This self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided, relationship, love bombing. So if you ever talk to people, if people ever said to you that, do you ever think about, how I feel in this situation instead of it just being about you and then like if people have ever had to have that conversation with you if you ever felt in your heart and your mind that that was an issue or people said that to you before that could be what's causing you grief and it, that could be what it's love bombing your relationships you see what I'm saying and it could be one sided and you really like the people but the people are not receptive to you in that type of way because of what this is saying do you understand what I'm saying so it's not just about you all of the time I know you're very very smart and you're very intelligent but sometimes it takes you to have to listen to others to be able to truly listen to yourself and feed what your heart wants your heart wants and desires a relationship it wants marriage it wants a new existence it wants permanence and prominence do you understand it wants abundance like you're tired of being alone. You don't want to be. A, you don't want to be a widow. You don't want to be single. You know what I'm saying? Just because a situation has died out and has moved on, it doesn't mean that love has to continue to pass you by. And you have to watch other people have this thing that you want, but you can't seem to obtain it. You have the wedding ring and you have the abundance, but at the same time, this golden mirror had to be adjusted you might need to throw that mirror away you got the wedding rings union wedding married soul connection internal love everlasting promise and again keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss you want a real connection so don't self-sabotage it like just like and don't shoot the messenger i know that that's not easy to hear someone say but if it's true and if it's you and you know it's you and you know it's something that you need to work on do you understand what i'm saying and just take the information for what it is and when you're talking and you're dealing with people and just anybody and you feel yourself only thinking about yourself in that moment and not really listening and paying attention to other people and what did the like be like you know what this is this is what Reds was talking about. Let me adjust that because when this one come to me, the one that's worth waiting for that snapped me out of this shit and I ain't and I'm like hold on hey hey I'm here. I don't want them to ever say that about me. I don't want them to ever think that about me. I don't want to deal with those issues. I don't want that to ever be a part of our conversation because I want this to be abundant forever I want us to celebrate with each other I want us to make money with each other I want it to be something again permanence and prominence so we're gonna take that we're gonna take that golden mirror to the pawn shop do you understand what I'm saying we're gonna take that permanent we're gonna take that golden mirror to the pawn shop and we're gonna get some money for that shit and we're just gonna get rid of that 
You know what I'm saying? We just gonna get rid of that because we we don't like that. So let's clean this up, clear this up, get the last guidance and love for my Gemini. So we up out of here. And I'm sorry if it's easy a little bit long, but you know we have two cards for my Gemini. We up out of here. Two cards and love for my Gemini for April. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Ooh, we got the two of <laughs> We got the two of cups. You got the soulmate card. Gemini, the only thing I can tell you is that true love is worth waiting for. Working on yourself is worth doing. Looking at yourself and working on yourself is worth doing. This 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 whole reading screams like you having a true understanding of yourself, who you are, what you're worth. What you deserve. You want to pass on the blessings. And honestly, like you want to heal from what you lost. I mean, clearly, you've you've suffered a great pain of, of loss. Of something that really meant something to you. But I'm not truly getting a grieving widow here. You know what I'm saying? But I am getting someone that just needs to take a quick look in the mirror. And just check their self a little bit. Because when this love comes... Where's though you were bored, you were unhappy, you were unwilling to accept anybody's offers, like people ain't even really want to approach you like that because you ain't, you, you, you didn't even look like you were interested or open to dating. That's why I'm saying you need to scrub that widow energy off of you and have a single and I'm ready to be married energy because baby. This, 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 this connection right here, this is what you want. This is what you've been praying for. This is what this whole side of the reading has been talking about. The wedding, the wedding ring, the two of cups, the soulmate card. Like, what more do you need? Then you got the three of torches right here. The three of torches is like needing to move on from the past because the future is calling you. But... It's having to take that final step to let go because you know the future of head is vast and abundant. And whatever phase it was that I was living in in my life that was here, it's over with. I've experienced what I needed to experience. I'm, I'm thankful for my growth. That's why this abundant card says gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, no one wants to have a death in their life. You know what I'm saying? Have it be physical, uh, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Like something, somebody that you thought that was going to be in your life forever. And it just, you know, it changed you. It made you smarter now. Might have made you a little bit more you know, less emotional, but don't ever think that much of yourself or situations or think that you know that much to think that someone can't come into your life and turn that water faucet on and those emotions that you turned off can't pour like a fucking floodgate that you've never even seen before. I don't even think you've ever really, really experienced love, 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 love. That everlasting love. This love. This love. That worth waiting for love. Listen. That one that you were sitting in the, in, the, in the window crying about praying for. That love. That abundant love with the wedding rings and all that stuff. That love. The one that you kept sabotaging. Okay. With other people because it wasn't this love. Certain people you self-sabotage that shit because you knew you were better than that. That's good. That's good. Because guess what? It wasn't this love. Now this, it's time for you to look yourself in the mirror and decide if you're ready to get your walk on. For real. Are you ready to leave the past in the past and let the future be the future and really walk into your destiny? Even if you have to move to the other side of the country to get this, 
child, I will, I will walk on barefoot to get all the way over there. And honey, I will survive and I will make it, honey. All right? I will make it with a full heart, okay? Open arms and, and warm kisses, honey. Do you understand? I'll make it there on foot. All right? This card being in the upright would tell me that you know that this is coming to you. And again, true love is worth waiting for. You're ready for it. You got your bag packed and you're ready. You know what I'm saying? You got your bag packed and you're ready. You ain't, you, you, you ain't even turning back. You ain't looking back. It ain't nothing back there that you want. Because everything that you want is ahead. You know it's your destiny. I need this card to be up and upright so that you can receive every last one of those three new precious gifts that the Lord is about to bless you with. Because you know you're coming. You know it's worth waiting for. And you're just waiting for God to pull up on you. Shit, you about to call God and say, I'm going to meet you halfway. I'm going to start walking. I know where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Like, this way you know where God's at with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to start walking, Jesus. Do you feel me? I Listen, I've been, I'm impatient waiting. Just send me, like, send me a drop. Drop me an APB. I'm going to figure it out. Like, shit, I'm going to work with you, Jesus. Do you feel me? Because you know what's coming. You know what's ahead of you. You know what's best for you. Stop allowing... Uh, Stop allowing yourself to process old memories that's in the reserve for your past. That's what's making those footsteps heavy when you walk away. You know what I'm saying? That's why those footsteps are so heavy, baby. When you're ready and you prepared and you know all of this that's over here and you truly hear from that. And again, you trust and you know. You know. Even if you don't know, somebody's going to come and show you. Trust. And again, I don't know what side of this rope you're on. I don't know if you're the student or if you're the teacher. But trust. And thank God. Because everything that you've been praying on, that you've been waiting for, is going to greet you with full, bountiful arms got to understand what you're doing and you got to trust in yourself and you got to know that you're deserving and you got to believe it and you got to have your bags packed you know so I love you Gemini I love you and again make whatever it is handheld you know what you're doing take them footsteps peace